today's project, uh, I'm working with felt, okay? And we're going to be making some flowers. I wore my new Cotton Chaos t-shirt because it has flowers on it. So I thought, well, this is perfect. I'll wear this today. We're going to celebrate spring. Um, I've already shown you how to make uh, my beautiful rag roses. You can always go back in the videos if you want to see how those look. Today, we're going to be working with felt. And I think you're really going to like it. Now, I'm in Texas, and our state flower is the blue bonnet. OK, so I want to show you how I'm creating um, felt blue bonnets from felt. But also, just in case the blue bonnet is not, you know, not your flower, it's OK. You can like blue bonnets, even if you're not from Texas. They can also make really pretty lavender stalks. OK, so if you like lavender, they even kind of look a little bit like lilacs. So, you know, I think you could do the same technique I'm showing you and create your own um, beautiful types of flowers. You could even just get, get colorful and make your own kind of flower, <laughs> whatever colors you want. So today, let me show you what um, the, the type of product we're gonna be working with, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and split my screen here. Give me just a second. Let's make sure I've got everything in the right direction. Okay. We're going to be working with wool felt. Um, yes, you could do these with craft felt, um, but man, wool felt is just so much nicer. It's so much prettier. Um, the wool felt we carry is is 100% merino wool felt. It's just it's just gorgeous and it's beautiful to craft with um, and create with. So let me show you kind of uh, some of the colors I'm using today. And I've already cut these into strips just to make it a little bit easier. This color is, is uh, called baby blue. It's a light blue. This color is called ocean. Can you see the difference? It's subtle. It's, you can kind of see the difference there. And then I'm also going to be working with a little bit of white, a little bit of white. And uh, of course, our, our flowers are going to need leaves. So the leaf green that I'm using, it's actually called light olive light olive. So just so you know, the different colors I'm using that I'm doing to make the blue bonnet. Now you could, you could, could create this flower with um, any, really any shades of blues, even a little shades of purple, you know, however, um, when I get ready to um, play around with um, lavender, I'm going to be using these two colors, lavender, lilac. This is mauve and lilac mauve and lilac. Okay. So just want to show those to you really quickly here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the finished blue bonnet because I think you need to have some vision here with what I'm going to be making. Look, 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 look how pretty. Aren't they pretty? I think they're gorgeous. See how they have a little bit of curve to them. Our pretty little flowers here. You can see, I think you can see all the color. Let's put it over here. You can see it a little bit better, right? So let's look at the, we've got the white, right? This is the lighter blue and this is the richer blue. So there's actually three colors going on right here. I'm going to kind of hold it like this for you to see. We have white, we have the, the lighter blue, we have the richer blue. So this is snow white, baby blue and um, ocean. Okay. Isn't it pretty? Okay, so this is what I'm going to show you how to make today. They're so super fun and super simple. So first we need to talk about the stem. All right. So this is what I'm using for the stem, y'all. This stuff, it comes kind of in a spool like this, comes in different colors. Um, the one I'm using today is brown. It's just what I had in my stash and it's wired, right? Let me kind of bend it here so you can see. It's wired. You can bend it which I love for these flowers because that way the flowers have a little bit of movement. If you put, if you make a little bouquet with them or you mix them in with other flowers that you've made or other arrangements that you have, um, you can kind of bend them a little bit and give them, you know, make them, give them a little bit more of a realistic look. Now this stuff, the best place to find this stuff is going to be uh, at your craft and hobby store. Like if you're going to Hobby Lobby, somewhere like that, Michael's, you need to go in the floral section. You're going to find this stuff in the floral section. And it's just awesome. It's awesome to work with. You do want to use your craft scissors to cut it um, or wire cutters. My, my craft scissors do just fine. You can cut it just fine. But you don't want to use like your good fabric scissors. 
there is wire in here. We don't want to mess up our scissors, okay? So your craft scissors, or if you have little wire cutters, something like that is what you want to use to cut these. So I, it's always hard to know, like, how long should the stem be? So I went ahead and made mine maybe a little longer than I really need them to be, but I don't know, like, I don't know, am I going to put them all in one little arrangement? Am I going to stick them in and other things? So I like to have a, a nice size of stem. So I'm going to tell you, I have my ruler here. I'm going to advise that you cut these about, I'm going to say about 14 inches. It's, it's curved here. Yes, I would say between like 13, 14 inches. Yeah, it might be a little long, but you'd rather have it be a little bit long. And then if you need to cut it shorter, you can cut it shorter. So I'm going to say 14 inches, okay? 14 inches for this piece, all right? Okay, right? Okay. <laughs> now these, your felt pieces, what you're going to need for these are one and a half inch strips. And I just took the length of my, um, my felt um, and just cut, cut it into one and a half inch strips. So just to show you on the ruler, this is 12 inches. So one and a half by 12. Um, actually to make one, let me give you what you need just for one blue bonnet. Hang on. Okay. For one blue bonnet, you're going to want a one and a half by 12, a one and a half by six, half of that, right? And then this one is one and a half by 10. And it really, that's going to be our little top portion. And I don't think, I think I actually cut this in half if I remember right. Yeah, we're going to cut this in half for one. Okay, so let's go back over this again. One and a half by 12. Okay, one and a half by 12 inch strip. One and a half by six. One and a half by six. And this one is going to be one and a half by four. One and a half by four. We don't need much white. Don't worry about the leaf just yet. We'll talk about that later. Let's focus on these three pieces first. Um, so... The first thing we're going to do, we're going to do some hot glue. This is hot, all hot glue, right? We're going to work with hot glue. It's just going to be the easiest thing for us to get started here with. And I'm going to take each one of these three pieces, okay? Each one of these three pieces. I'm going to run a little bead of hot glue right here towards the bottom. Just do it in sections, okay? Do it in sections because if you try to do too much, the, the hot glue will, will dry before you can even really press it down. OK, so we're going to glue the outer edges together. I am using my precision tip glue gun. So I have a little tiny tip on this glue gun. It's by Surebonder. I will never use another glue gun again. I love having that little bitty tiny tip. You can really control the amount of glue that comes out. It's just awesome. And we're just going to glue this bottom part together. And don't worry if a little bit of the glue seeps out. It's going to be fine. It's all going to be good. So there's one. We're going to do the same thing to this one. Yeah, this is going to be such fun for you guys to make your own flowers. And uh, like I said, I'm, I'm showing you the blue bonnet. But uh, tomorrow... I'm going to be posting some pictures of these and um, I'm going to show you a picture of doing the same technique, right? Same technique. I'm going to show you what some lavender will look like. Okay. So just get ready for that. I'm going to work on those later, but for this craft and chat, just want to show you these. And actually I will be, I will post that picture for you after craft and chat. So just a little bit after craft and chat, I'll get some good pictures for you to post here on my Facebook page. 
Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Now this video is going to be saved into my video library. Did you know I have one of those? Um, and it will also wind up next week. We'll put it on my YouTube page and we'll write a blog post on it. Um, so if you want to come back and watch the replay, like if you're watching now and you're like, okay, I definitely want to do these. You got get your materials together and you need to watch the replay. When you go to my homepage of the Facebook group, okay, the homepage, Miss Tracy Creates, um, if you scroll down, you're going to see videos, right? You're going to see videos. I'm going to pin this one um, into my little featured videos, but there's also a little place where you can hit, uh, it's like a little button, I think. It says, see all videos. You can click on that and all my videos will pop up. Um, and of course, this will be the most recent one. <laughs> OK, so now that we have these glued together, I'm going to use my little snips. Now, these are my snips that I just use for fabric. OK, I just use these for, for fabric. I love these. I use these for I have two pairs. I have one for fabric. I have one for when I'm doing all my detail cutting, like around napkins and things like that. Um, we just got a ton of these back in stock. This is the five inch snips. I love these scissors. The handles are rubber, so they're not hard on your fingers. And it's just a great thing for detail cutting. OK, so now we're going to come in here and uh, and I apologize for my fingers. I have hot glue all over them because I just made those other um, blue bonnets <laughs> and I'm going to start fringing. Now, look, do not cut on the edge that you glued. Do not cut on the edge that you glued. We want to cut on this edge, the folded edge to get this pretty little fringe. And these don't have to be exactly the same distance apart. Just be careful not to cut through your glued edge. Okay, they can be kind of different sizes. I would make sure, I would say maybe like try to stick to around a quarter inch. Okay, something like that. Some of mine will be bigger, some will be smaller. <laughs> and we're going to do this to every single one of these pieces. So we're going to just cut in this fringe. Be careful not to cut through the glued edge. If you do, it's OK. We'll just glue it in separate pieces. But um, I did one earlier because I was I was using some different scissors and I was talking to Cheryl at the same time and I just cut right through it. <laughs> she was making fun of me. So it's OK if it happens. So see, we're going to wind up with all these cute little loopy edge, this little loopy fringe. And now we're going to do the same thing to this one. Y'all, this is such a fun project. Um, you can do these with fabric also. But man, the felt just has a lot of really good body to it. So they just really look amazing, um, I think, out of felt. And if you're going to do, you know, a, a handmade flower assortment, um, it's fun to mix in felt, felt and fabric. All right, I'm almost done here. I'm trying to be good and not cut all the way through. Doo, 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 doo. Y'all see all the hot glue on my fingers? <laughs> Yeah, there's no way not to get hot glue on your fingers for this. This don't worry though. We'll we'll I, I didn't burn myself at all. <laughs> you just wind up with a little bit of the hot glue. Okay, so we now we have all of our fringy pieces. So let's get started and let's make a blue bonnet. I'm gonna go ahead and change my camera view here. So I want to make sure that you can really see what's going on. I'm gonna make myself small. And I'm going to bring my camera down here a little bit lower. So hopefully you can really see what's going on. So I have my little my little stem piece here. This is that wired. Uh, it's like kind of raffia covered wire, I guess is what you would call it. Again, you're going to find this in your floral near your floral supplies at your craft and hobby store. OK, um, it's awesome to work with. So I'm going to start with the white. All right, I'm going to start with the white because, again, what I'm making right now is a blue bonnet. OK, so I'm going to start with a little bit of hot glue right here. I think you can see that little bit of hot glue right there. And I'm going to take the tip of my stem and I'm just going to wrap it up. 
just kind of wrap it up. Hold it for just a second. Okay, hold it for just a second. We want to make sure it's really good and secure to the stem before we continue to wrap. Okay. Yes, we have a ton. We have a big variety of different colors of um, merino wool felts. There, we sell them in sheets because we use them all the time in my fabric fan club, in my stitching club. So see how I've added some more glue. Again, tiny little line of glue. And now I'm just going to start wrapping. Okay, just wrap, wrap, wrap. Now keep this white part. We want to keep this white part really close together. Okay, so you can even kind of while the glue's still um, warm, you can kind of kind of push push the the pieces together. I've got this little end right here. We just need to put a little tiny bit of glue right there. So this is about how much I would say for the tip of your blue bonnet. Let's look at the blue bonnet over here. Okay, do you see? It's just a good amount. It's okay, this one goes down a little bit more. This one's a little bit further up. That's the thing. If we want these to really look like blue bonnets, none of them should look exactly the same, right? So our next color is going to be this one, the light blue. I believe this is called baby blue. And again, I kind of make myself a little, a little line of glue here. Now we're going to overlap this, but see where the glue is going? The glue is going kind of like right underneath that white. And again, I like to kind of hold on to it when I first start. I'm just going to kind of hold on to this, make sure it's really good and stuck before I start uh, wrapping. Okay winding, wrapping, <laughs> however you want to call this. And only do just, a, a, I don't know, maybe a couple inches at a time because you don't, again, you don't want the glue to, um, we don't want the glue to start to dry. And now I'm going to come down and around and around until I need to put in some more glue. Again, you can kind of push, push the petals up upward. Super easy to make these y'all. It's so easy. You can even wait just a second if you're worried about the glue being too hot. Just wait a second. It just has to be tacky, sticky. And I'm just going to continue to wrap. Hopefully y'all can see that. Okay. Can y'all see what I'm doing? Okay. I'll try to come up a little closer on this one. Okay, so I like just wrapping it around. I use my fingers so that I can make sure it's getting on there really nice and tight. That's why my fingers wind up covered in hot glue. You know, it's not really the glue glue. It's like all the hairs, the sticky hairs and stuff. But I have a trick to show you how to get rid of all those. I'll show you here in just a minute. The ones that are on your flower, if you wind up with some on your flower. Okay, little tiny point right there. Let's put a little bit of hot glue on that, on the end piece. And I'm just, again, gonna hold it, hold it in place for a second. Isn't that cute? You guys, I want y'all to make these so much fun. Okay, so now we're moving on to our bigger piece. This is our longest piece. And just doing the same thing. It's the same thing. We don't change anything up. Again, okay, you can kind of see that. Let's wrap this part around a couple of times because we want to make sure, whoops, I got that one a little, there we go. I just want to make sure I'm going to hold it tight for a second and make sure that it's, it's uh, caught in there very well. It's stuck very well. And then we're just going to continue just a few inches at a time. Don't try to do too much at a time. And I'm going to start going faster. I was trying to kind of go slow for y'all in the beginning, but it actually you can can do this quite quickly. Every so often push those petals up. 
so cute. And I'm going to use this entire piece here. That might be a lot of hot glue, but I think I can wrap it fast enough. Perfect. Now when we get it to the end, you're going to hold it down for just a second. You can see I've got a little, my little edge here. And I'm just going to wrap it and squeeze it. And then you can start kind of fluffing. Look how cute. That, my friends, is your blue bonnet. Isn't that so cute? Now we have to do a leaf. We're going to do a leaf. And here's what I wanted to show you. See how you can bend them? So it's okay uh, to kind of bend them. You can bend down here if you want. Um, it's kind of nice to give them a little bit of, of um, you know, movement, shape. You know, it just kind of gives them that, that little bit of movement. It looks so good. Okay, so we're going to talk next about the leaf. All right, and this is the part that some of you are probably going to be like, oh my gosh, I can't do that, but you can. All right, so this is what I want you to do. And I'm, on, I'm using light olive felt for this. I want you to, um, let's see, how can I say this? To, um, we're going to make five points here. There's one, there's two, there's three. Oh, no, one, two, three, that's four. There's five. So we're making five lines, okay? It doesn't have to be anything special. By the way, I'm using my friction pen. This is, oops, it's upside down. This is a friction pen by Pilot. We sell these, they're like, I don't know, $1.99, something like that. They're very inexpensive. And they are great because they disappear with heat. So this is just to give me a guide. And now I'm going to create just kind of this rounded, leafy looking thing. Trust me, this is better than a template because you want it to look more natural. Okay, there's one. We're going to do two. Okay, we're going to do two. So maybe this one. It's going to be like this. Okay. Start. You need five. Okay. And now again, I'm just going to kind of come around. This one can be a little smaller. It really doesn't matter. It's that's kind of the cool thing about it is um, we want them to look, you know, organic. Okay. So here are my leaves <laughs> for the blue bonnet. They'll be different for lavender or lilac. But for blue bonnet, this is what I want you to do. I kind of look like a weird starfish, right? Okay, so now I'm just going to come in and we're going to create around these leaves. We're going to cut it out as one whole piece. And then I'll show you how awesome it is to um, watch that ink disappear after we get these cut. You don't even have to cut them right exactly on the line. There's one. Are we doing okay? <laughs> you guys with me still? All right. Okay, so tell me in the comments if you're going to give this a try. It's so pretty, y'all. You can um, create a little bundle, create a little, a little, uh, put a few in a little vase, tie them off, and you know, and lay them like a like a little spray. Put them into your wreaths, your other arrangements, anything like that. Okay, so here we go. Now I'm going to take my heat tool. This is my Ranger Heat It craft tool. Now we sell these um, and you can find these out there, but they're not white anymore. They're black. 
And I, you can see how much mine is, is I've used mine so much. I'm going to take this. Now you could also use like your blow dryer if you have like the highest, hottest setting. And watch where the ink goes. It just goes away. That's why we love the friction plan for templates. See, I'm trying to get that little white, whatever that white thread is off there. All right, let me hold them up close so you can see. No more lines. I don't know what that is. Fiber. There we go. So no more lines. So look how wonky these are. Yours can look wonky, though. I think wonkier, wonkier almost the better. Okay. So now we're going to fold this in the center. And I want you to put a, just a tiny little slit. Look how tiny. T90 little slit. Okay. We're going to do the same thing in this one. Just a little T90 little slit. Just like that. And now we're going to put this on to um, our beautiful blue bonnet that we just made. Okay. I like to go with the smaller one first and it looks like this one is the smaller one. So I'm going to take the end of the stem. Okay. I'm going to take the end of the stem and I'm going to take it right through that little slit and we're going to push it up. We're going to get it kind of close without going all the way. We don't want to go all the way yet. And we're going to put some hot glue kind of in a circle. Can you all see that? Whoop, sorry. There. That's kind of a good shot. See the, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm hitting the camera. See the, that's kind of circle of glue. And then we're going to push it up and just kind of hold your petals kind of like this and just press that glue. Just press that glue. Okay. And then we can flop these back down. It's that easy. It's that easy. Then we're going to do it again. All right. We're going to do it again. We're going to take the end. We're going to take it through that little slit that we made. Okay. Oops. Got some of my raffia here. Make sure I can get it all in there. Okay. There we go. So it's in there. We're going to slide it up. Now, this time I want you to kind of stagger the leaf, um, the leaf petals. Can you see? Move it around to where they're kind of staggered from the first petal. Okay. Do you see like this is this one? So we want a leaf kind of coming up in the middle of that one. Pull it down a little bit when you know where you want it placed. And we're going to do the same thing. Again, I know this is kind of hard to show on camera, but I'll, I'll show you in just a second. We're just, I'm just doing a circle of glue. Let me hold this up a little bit. There's a little circle of hot glue in there around the stem. And then just, again, push it up. Just push it up. Kind of hold it with your fingers for a second. Okay. Just hold it with your fingers for just a second. And voila, we have our beautiful leaves on our, I usually, just, I'm just doing two. I guess you could do more if you wanted to do more. Let me bring myself back on the screen here. So you could do more if you want to do more. But this is my lovely blue bonnet. Isn't it pretty? Isn't it pretty? Let me um, bring myself up. So just look how pretty these are together, right? So if you did want to put them into, you know, a pretty little uh, vase or something, I also think they'd be really pretty kind of looking almost like a, like a little spray, like a little bundle. You could just tie them off with some cute ribbon and lay them somewhere. Um, they'll be beautiful in maybe even in some of your other arrangements, um, in a wreath. I just think you could do so many things. Um, if you're here in Texas, maybe you have an old pair of cowboy boots and you want to just put, you know, make a, make a cute little arrangement in a cowboy boot. <laughs> You know, I mean, it could be anything like that. Or a rain boot would be adorable. Rain boots would be really cute. So let me bring this back on the screen. I just want you to see how awesome these turned out. They're really fun, y'all. I want you to give them a try. Now, I mentioned that I was going to show you. This is what I use. I'm going to use the heat tool again. When I, I see some little glue hairs or something, if you'll just use your heat tool on on it those glue hairs just kind of disappear they literally just disappear okay so instead of picking at them the whole time 
um, they will just disappear. Aren't they great, y'all? Aren't they pretty? Do you see the graduated color? Hopefully you can kind of tell. I think you can tell better here. So those three colors, it just looks really pretty, gorgeous, and very, very fun and very, very easy to create, right? Very, very fun, very easy to create. So because they look so similar to like lilac, like a stalk of lilac, we can also do the same thing, just use different colors. Um, and I would stick with, you know, colors maybe like this. Lilacs don't really have a white tip, but you could do something like this and then we'll change up the leaves. Okay. So I'm not going to show you lilacs today. I will show you pictures of some that I've made. Um, and then let's save this one. I'll, uh, maybe we'll come back and, and, uh, it's the same exact process. The only difference is the leaf. <laughs> Okay, so be watching for pictures of me using this same technique to make, uh, oh, I said lilac. I really want to make lavender stalks. I really think it will look really good for lavender stalks. But I also think if you, if you started with maybe a, a, a thicker piece, or I'm sorry, if you, if you were going to make lilacs, maybe if this, this longest piece if the loops were bigger, you know how lilacs they're kind of they're kind of pointy at the top and then they kind of get bigger at the bottom. So that those might take a little practice. I'll have to work on that. But I really, after looking at pictures, Lynette was we were looking at pictures on Lynette's phone just a while ago <laughs> of lavender stalks. I can definitely recreate with this same technique to make lavender stalks, just using a different leaf right? A different look, different leaf, but same technique. Okay. So I'm going to be doing that for you. I'm going to, I'm going to play around with it, but let's first just, let's, let's do this. Let's attempt this. Let's get, get used to this technique. Um, you guys try it out. I'm going to play around with the lavender stalks and then I will be happy to share those with you um, as soon as I get them perfected and work on the just the right leaf, I think, for the lavender stalks. OK, sound good? <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching Craft and Chat today. I hope you really enjoyed yourself and I hope that you'll give these pretty blue bonnet flowers a try. Mm -hmm.